Hi everyone, in today's video, I am going to talk about how to get the PZNS key of any rule and how to get the PZINS key of specific instance in our data type and what is the shortcut key to get the PZINS key of any rule. Now, let's see how to get a PZINS key of any rule. Now, we have to navigate to the actions drop down under actions. We are going to have an option called view XML. Here, search for PZ INS key. Then we will be able to find the PZ INS key of that rule. And shortcut key to get the PZ INS key is Window Shift F8. Then we will be able to get the PZ INS key of any rule in our Pega. Now let's go to the data type. Now I want to get the PZ INS key of this HP instance. Let's filter with HP. Now we have a one record. Now let's go into the clipboard. Under clipboard user pages, we are going to have a page called PY Virtual Record Editor Results page. By expanding that, we will be able to find the PX results. There we can able to find the PJ Dynasty of that specific instance or else we are going to have a one report for our data type. Just add the PJ Dynasty column to that report, existing report and execute to get the PJ Dynasty of specific instance. Or if we have a database access type, we can go and check in the database of specific instance PJ Dynasty, but we will be able to see the PJ Dynasty column only for the Pega data tables. If it is a customer data, then we won't be able to find the PJ Dynasty column. In such a scenarios, the PJ Dynasty is going to be a class of the data type and key. For suppose here the for this class right key is going to be an PYGUID. In such scenarios, we will be simply copying this class name and PYGUID. This is how we will be building a our PZ INS key. These are the ways we can get the PZ INS key of any rule to deploy into the higher versions. Thanks for watching my videos. Please do like, subscribe to my channel.